Hi, Kits the Witch here with another unboxing. Um, this time it is the Witch's Roots box for October 2020. Um, please excuse my nails, I've been digging around compost and my nails were a casualty. Um, anyway, the theme for this month I believe is The Guided Seer. And as always, this box comes in a more discreet plastic bag that's listed as the W Moon, I believe. Um, so if you're in the closet and could get boxes, this would be a good choice. Um, or if you just don't want anyone in your mail business. Um, it is, um, for US subscribers, it's 29 um, USD a month. And it is owned by The Witch's Moon. Um, and this is sort of their more uh, different price tiered box. So it's a little less than their flagship, The Witch's Moon. I will link their site down below in the description. But yeah, so the theme is The Guided Seer, I believe. And let's crack this open. All right. All right. Oop. Let's open the parchment. Um, okay, yep, it is the guided seer, and I'm gonna put this aside because we are going to look through all the things first. Um, first, it looks like the Hamsa. Hamsa? Um, it has, it's a little thing that you can put in your book of shadows or hang as a print. Um, it's like on a nice parchment. Um, here's another print. Um, this one's also a good one for your um, Book of Shadows, Motherwort. Um, and usually this um, is indicative of the herb that will be included in here. So it looks like it's gonna be Motherwort. So let's dig in. Ooh, paper, tissue paper. <laughs> All right. Get that open. So many crinklies. Let's start with this. Looks like it's the crystal for the month, and it looks sort of like like um, it's iridescent. Maybe it's opalite. Like I don't imagine them putting an actual opal in because opals are kind of expensive. But I think it might be opalite. All right. Next is let's dig around. The herb, like I said, it's gonna be motherwort, and it is in fact motherwort. So there's that. Crinkle, crinkle. Next is whatever this is. Let's unwrap it. Crinkle, sticky, crinkle, sticky. Oh my gosh, crinkle, crinkle. Oh, it looks like it's a pendulum, and it looks like it is. A rose quartz pendulum. It's actually uh, like little quartz beads, I guess. Take a look at that. Pretty good weight on it too. Um, I have a lot of pendulums at this point from all these boxes, but I can't say no to more crystal pendulums. Uh, all right. Next is going to be. A little, I guess, talisman, medallion, sort of coin thing. And it is of the mother goddess, I believe, holding like a little triple moon thing going down or a little trifecta. Tri and it says on the back, dream. So there's that. So pretty good weight. like. Instead of like crystals, like you can put this in your pocket as a little reminder, things like that. All right, next is probably the oil. Let's open this up. Let's struggle. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't struggle with this. That's new. Okay. Ooh, this is a magical anointing oil and it is called Samhain. And it's got lots of herbs in here, I can see. I don't know if you can see it in the thing. 
shake it up a little lots of herbs and goodies in there and let me take a whiff Ooh, that smells really good it smells like it smells like halloween and samway sawin <laughs> that's basically what i have to say and this usually is a small ritual candle here we go this is going to be the struggle to open it because i'm really bad at this Let's see oh my gosh here we go it's purple that's cool if i could actually this this never fails like every video i've ever done so far i have some sort of packaging mishap i jinxed myself when i thought that the anointing oil was too easy there we go there we go we did it we did it well i did it so it's a nice sort of purple candle very nice and i'm sorry there sounds like a truck backing up in our um, parking lot so if you hear that in the background I'm so sorry um, I probably dressed this candle it's they um the witch's fruit um, will do candles that are like sort of the beeswax candles and let me sniff yep it is dressed I'm not sure what it's dressed with but there's that and finally I think finally yes finally there's usually like loose incense um, I do wish that they would package it up into like a little baggie like they do for the witch's moon. But I guess beggars can't be choosy when it comes to incense. But I didn't smell too strongly in the box when I was opening it up. So let me sniff this and see how this smells. Sort of reminds me of like baby powder a little bit. Like it's sort of a fluff. fresh clean <laughs> smell all right looks like i got everything in the box let's look at the parchment and see what everything is and what scents are there so you've got motherwort um and piece of mass it just tells you about that and oh that's interesting usually it says for ritual use only on these or at least it did the last boxes I got um, it doesn't seem to have that this time so I don't know if that means that this is something that you can use for um, food grade but I even though it's not there I severely doubt it so probably not next is the motherwort herbal grimoire artwork um, that was the one I said was going to be indicative of what the herb was for this box. Um, oh, okay. So the pendulum has moonstone on it too. So the little beads are moonstone. So it's a rose quartz and moonstone pendulum. Um, and then next is the dream goddess pewter, pewter coin. So yeah, it's just to sort of carry with, th with you throughout the season. Next is a tumbled or a rose quartz. Okay, so it's not opalite, but it is a tumbled or a rose quartz. So that's cool. Um, I'm trying to remember if I think aura rose quartz is usually like aura quartz of any kind is usually just like metal of some sort is bonded to the quartz crystal. So it gives it that like iridescent shine to it, I believe. Um, I think. But anyway. Sanctuary Ritual Incense Stick does not tell me what's in it, which sucks because I really want to know what the scent is because it smells really familiar, but I have no idea. Next one is Of Meaning and Magic Mini Spell Candle. Um, and then the Samhain Magical Anointing Oil. So let's see what it has. We have Enchanted This Oil with Nice clove lang lang ylang 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 lang lang I think and sandalwood oils and have included mugwort and yarrow as well so those are the herbs in the that you can see I don't know if you could see it but you can see sort of barely in there um, and then there's a Lemurian quartz like all the anointing oils have 
Um, and then the Hamsa Hand Book of Shadows reference, and that is just a reference between the amulet. So, I kind of like this box. Um, it's unexpected. Um, like, and I wasn't I wasn't sure what to expect with the Guided Seer, but a lot of these are sort of ingredients and things for reflection, I suppose. Especially as we close in on Samhain, which is, you know, the witch's new year. Um, like, I like the anointing oil, the smell of that. I like the um, incense. Um, I, 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 li I like the um, box, but I don't think it's my favorite box. Like, I still think my favorite box is, um, I believe, August's box, which was the Realm of Fire, and I will link it up here um but yeah no this isn't bad um i feel like every time i've gotten the witch's root box i have gotten sort of what i paid for like or more than what i paid for like i feel like there's usually pretty much pretty good value in the box this month i guess not so much as like i still got more than what i paid for but I feel like the amount is a little less this month, but it's still a good deal. Um, anyway, like I can see why so many people like the Witch's Moon's collection, which is like the Mo Witch's Moon, Witch's Roots, which I just unboxed, and the Witch's Bounty. So um, anyway, thanks for watching, um, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.